Hey data fans, Reed here. Today we're going to talk about date tables, and more specifically the types of hierarchies you can create for them. Now when I build date tables, I like to create two primary hierarchies on them, which are dependent and independent hierarchies. These hierarchies provide different user experiences when it comes to hierarchy controls, and whether or not the user wants to expand or show next level with them. Now we'll discuss this and more, so let's hop into Power BI and get started. So let's discuss a business case scenario. I have two tables in front of us here, and I want to discuss the differences between the hierarchy controls and what I have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the one with the dependent hierarchy. If I open up my calendar table and come to my hierarchies folder, expand this out just a little bit, I have something in here that I've named dependent hierarchy. So that means that these levels are depending on each other. This is just the year only, simply quarter only, and that means it's like Q1, Q2. This is just simply month name and then date. So typically, the experience that you would want with this, if I navigate up in the hierarchy controls, you would want to use the expand option because then you would get 2014 and then 2014 plus the quarter because it concatenates them together as I expand down. If I was just simply to use the go to next level, then you only get the quarters which may or may not be useful to the clients. Since it might be ambiguous as far as like what the data is showing, maybe you actually want to see all quarters lumped together, but normally you want to see it actually expand out the timeline like this. And to enforce that, what you can also do is you can disable this entirely where the go to next level can be turned off. If you come over to the format pane, come down to visual header and just make sure that show next level is turned off. Once you publish this, then this will be disabled. Now, alternatively, my independent hierarchy over here, if I expand this out, has each level independent, meaning year is entirely by itself. Quarter year is both the year and the quarter concatenated together in this column. Month year is the same and then date. So every one of these can actually show the entire timeline by itself, meaning that at the top level, I can go to next level and then it already has that data for me. So if I expand this out again, and now because month and year is showing in here and that is also a date data type, it allows it to show a continuous axis. Now watch if I actually go over here and expand one further down all the way down to the month level. It's showing a categorical axis because it cannot do a continuous axis when it's showing all of these levels. So now I start to get a scroll bar and some issues can come up with that. If I go down to the date level, same thing happens. It's showing it with every single one as an individual category. If I come back over to here, go to the next level, I still get that continuous date range. So I kind of like independent hierarchies myself when I build things out for customers, but I always want to make sure to give them at least both options of whether or not you want a dependent hierarchy or an independent hierarchy. And vice versa, just like we wanted to turn off one option for the sales by dependent hierarchy in the visual header, for this one, we would want to turn off the expand and next level because we want to enforce that the user uses go to next level instead of the expand down. And just as a quick refresher, all the abilities to add and manage any types of hierarchies are found over in the modeling tab. So if you come over here, go to your calendar table, this is where you have the options to actually customize them, add them if you need to, and configure them from there. But overall, my goal was just to show you the different types of hierarchies that can be built and deployed in a Power BI report, specifically because it can change how you use the visual header and maybe what types of controls you may or may not want to enable and enforce the users to use certain features, depending on what their preference is on how they want to navigate up and down. And again, my personal preference is I kind of like independent hierarchies because I think it allows for the continuous access to be used uh, more fluidly and intelligently versus the other one, but I'll leave that up to you to decide which one you prefer. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.